Hi, in this video I am going to show you how to install the Hyper-V Manager on Windows Server 2022. So step number one is that you open Server Manager. So you click on Start Menu, you go to Server Manager here. If it's not showing up here, you can also just click on the search icon bottom uh, left and just type server and as you are typing server you sh Windows should find the server manager for you so just go ahead and open it once it's open uh, you want to click on add roles and feature and then you can read this message if you want to otherwise you can just click on next and then uh, we are doing a role based or feature based installation so we're gonna leave that to default and we're gonna click on next and then we only have one local server here on which we are gonna be installing the Hyper-V manager so that is selected by default so you just click on next and then you choose the Hyper-V on this computer or server I already have the Hyper-V installed so it's already checked there you know so this is what you will check uh, once you will uh, you will check that and you will click on next and I'll, it, it's going to bring up the add additional uh, features which are the components required components to install the Hyper-V uh, manager uh, role so you will accept those and then uh, continue and then on features screen you don't have to do anything you just click on uh, next here and then just follow the on-screen instructions to install the uh, Hyper-V uh, uh, role uh, this when when you install it, it uh, the restart is not required uh, even though there's going to be as a last step on, of installing this role or adding this role there will be an option where you can where the system will ask you if you want to restart so you can just go ahead and check it but it's not it's not going to restart it because it will only restart the computer if it's required so that's how you will install the Hyper-V uh, manager on the Windows Server 2022. Uh, since I already have it installed on this computer, uh, which is why I, you would see this tile here uh, in the Server Manager on the left hand side. And if you go into the tools, you'll also see the Hyper-V manager installed there. And if you open it, it's, it's going to look like this. Uh, this is my uh, host name this is my server name uh, virtual machines once I create them or you create them they'll show up here in this area I haven't uh, created any so far but I will be creating in the near future uh, so this is just I'm doing this as a part of my home lab just to uh, just to review some stuff that I learned in the school so I thought like let's me let me also make a video you know for some folks uh, to follow along if they want to look it up on YouTube or some uh, something you know so uh, so that's how you would install the Hyper-V manager uh, role uh, on uh, the server 2022 2016 or even 2012 uh, they're the same steps okay and just to give you a little bit of uh, background or theory uh, so so basically what it does is uh, oh no, that's not what I want to show you here uh, so yeah this is good definition so Hyper-V basically allows you to uh, virtualize your server work workloads uh, by running those workloads on a virtual machine say you have like a server uh, level server grade hardware like a 64 GB RAM or like a hard disk in terabyte or even 
hardware greater than that what you can do is you can just like install our server operating system on it and then uh, install a Hyper-V manager role on it and then create virtual machines and make each virtual machine to uh, for each workload like make one for a file server to be your file server one to be your application server and uh, one to be your remote desktop services so so you can have like a one hardware machine physical machine with a server and great hardware uh, on it and then you can basically use the resources available on that physical machine uh, and divide it in the different workloads you know and then uh, just have one machine and have it uh, cater uh, different services or provide different services okay I, I hope I'm able to uh, explain the best I could uh, what Hyper-V does for you uh, okay thanks for watching you guys have a nice day bye bye